Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customising the new Invetero Coquette D1 inside GT Online. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys, we've had a new update in GTA Online, it's added a bunch of awesome new cars which we're going to be customising over the next week. That's right, we're going to have a new customisation video for you every day this week, we're going to try and get through all these cars and of course we will be upgrading all the new drip feed cars as they get added over the weeks and months, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. But today we're going to be customising this, the Invetero Coquette D1, obviously based on a C1 Corvette for those who don't know. But let's take this thing up to the custom shop and see what kind of parts are available. And here we are in the custom shop. Now this thing is in the sports classics category. So um, I'm not sure how it's going to compare to some of the other vehicles in that class. I believe the Infernus Classic um is probably the fastest in the category i could be wrong on that um but anyway let's go ahead and upgrade this thing what i'm first going to do is just change the primary and secondary color to something a little bit more visible so a primary let's go ahead and make that um we'll just leave that like a blue color for now and the secondary color let's just make that red um, that looks absolutely hideous, but it's just so you guys can see what the primary and secondary colours are, just a little bit easier. So we'll put on full armour and full brakes, then we move to a bumper options. So we've got this lovely sort of classic C1 chrome front bumper. We can go ahead and delete that, or we can go for the torpedo bumper. So um, it just adds the sort of little chrome bullets down there um, which I do quite like so we're going to go for that I think this thing does need a little bumper like that so we'll go ahead and do that on the rear we've got a very similar kind of bumper it even has the exhausts coming out through sort of the rear fenders like the real car which is actually very cool um, we can go ahead and delete the chrome we can go for the vertical part delete. So how is that different? Okay, so it just deletes that little bit sort of down the bottom there. Okay, that's quite nice. We can go for the torpedo bumper to match the front. And we can go for the torpedo without the vertical. I think we'll go for that and it matches the front. Um, it looks a little bit cleaner. That looks very good. Engine op options, we don't have any visual engine options, it's just upgrades, so that's a little bit of a shame, could have been cool to see some engine upgrades in there, some visual stuff. Exhaust options, so we do have the exhaust coming out of the fenders, like on the real car, we can have the side facing double exhausts, we can have the back facing double exhausts, the slanted double exhausts. Okay, that's a bit strange. We can go for the slanted double back exhaust. That looks quite clean. That looks all right. We can go for the quad front exhaust. If you want to build this thing into like a gasser. And we've got the long side exhausts. I'm going to go for these. The slant back double exhaust. I think they look quite clean. Um, I was never a fan of the exhaust coming out of the fenders, even on the real C1 Corvettes. I thought it was a bit of an odd choice. So that looks a little bit better in my opinion. Headlight covers. Uh, so we've got the stock headlight covers. We can go for the classic headlight covers, which just adds sort of uh, little divisions in there. We can go for the sleepy headlights, just some sort of eyelashes there. We've got black eyelashes. So you can actually build this thing into like the Barbie C1, I guess. Um, that's probably why they've decided to add this thing, because this was in the new Barbie movie, if you've seen it. we got the chrome eyelashes. we got the black full lashes, so they're 
bottom ones as well as the top chrome version of that then we've got the taped headlights with red tape we've got the lower fog lights we've got the taped fog lights we've got taped fog lights with the little tow hook down there and we've got the full taped fog lights with the tow hook i do like just the fog lights uh, just like that that looks pretty cool so we'll go with that i think um, I'm not sure if that was an option on a C1 Corvette, but I kind of like it. And we'll test whether they actually work when we go outside later. Whether they actually work um, on the high beams. Grill options next. We've got this lovely chrome grill, but we can go for a grill delete. Um, which, there is still a grill there, but it's just like a mesh grill. You can't see it very well on the camera. Um, and then we've got the slatted grill. We've got the horizontal grill slats, and we've got the Invetero grill. So that's a bit more like the real Corvette would have had. I actually just prefer the stock one. I think that looks pretty good. I'm kind of keeping this thing a little bit stock, which I'll try my best to apply some options. But this kind of car, it doesn't need much customization to look good. It already looks pretty cool. Uh, hood options next. We've got the stock hood. We can go for a small wind deflector. If you want to build this thing as like a race car. We've got the large wind deflector. Now these only really make sense if you have the top down. So if there's an option later to remove the roof, then these make sense. If you have a roof, these don't make any sense. But there we go. We've got the clean hood. So the stock hood does actually have these little sort of power bulges in it. You can just get a sort of flat, clean hood if you want to. You We've got the encased Bubble. blower. We can go for a proper bug catcher. And the belt is actually spinning, which is quite a nice little detail. We've got the butterfly blower with the flaps that open. Uh, do they actually? Yeah, they do actually work. We've got the wide bug catcher. Uh, We've got the high butterfly blower. We've got the bug catcher with exposed filter. That's kind of like the Mad Max style filter. We've got the straight up pipes. If you want to go for the gas look. And that is a lot. So I don't know which one to go for here. Um, I think we're just going to go for the clean look. That looks pretty good actually. So we'll go with that. Um, light options next. The lights are already a little bit blue. You can make them xenon if you want to. I'll probably take this to the arena or to the car meet and make these actually white because it's an old car. They probably should look white, uh, but we'll leave that for now. We do have a few livery options on here. So we've got just no livery. We can go for a simple black pinstripe. It goes right along the car. And we get a white version of that. It does change the colour of the badge as well, which is quite cool. So that's something to note. Then we got the white pinstripe. So an even smaller stripe up there and a couple of pinstripes on the bonnet. We got the double stripe. A couple of blue stripes there. We got the double pinstripe. So it's stripes with pinstriping on top of it. We got the old school pinstripe white. Which adds a nice little accent on the side as well now. we got old style pinstriping in red. So it's the same one but just in a different colour. We've got old school race if you want to build this thing as a race car. we got old school race flames. And that is actually all of them. So if you want to build it as a gasser I guess you'd go for one of these. Um, I'm actually going to leave it standard. I don't think this thing needs a livery. As I said, I want to go for a bit of a clean build with this thing. Alright, then we have mirror options next. So we've got these standard chrome mirrors, which do fit very nicely. Um, we've got the round alternate. Different round shaped ones. We've got square ones. We've got the round alternate mounted on the wings. We've got the square version mounted on the wings. We've got the torpedo wing mounted mirrors. 
and we've got the race wing mounted so like carbon mirrors if you're building a race car i quite like these the torpedo ones um sort of facing forward they look quite cool um but i do like the standard ones i think they look the best to be honest um because we have got those little scoops on the side there and i feel like this is kind of blocking those scoops a little bit so i'm gonna leave the stock ones um plate options uh we've obviously got the new plates that were added uh, i think in the last update or the update before that the e cola and the sprunk one i'm just gonna leave it standard uh respray we'll come back to at the end um i do have a color combination in mind for this thing uh roll cage options next uh, let's go to the interior and we can see it better. We've got no roll cage. We can go for a primary cage, which is just in the back half. Uh, and then we have the secondary colour as well. Um, and I did notice that the secondary colour, as you can see there, changes the colour of the stitching on the interior, which is something to note. So I'm going to leave the roll cage out. Roof options, there is an option to remove the roof. And there we go. This thing does look a little bit better with the roof removed, I have to admit. So we'll go ahead and do that. Suspension, let's see what kind of a drop we can get. We can actually drop this thing quite a lot. Um, so it's seen pretty high at the moment. I guess we'll just go for like two clicks. The street suspension. Just reduces that arch gap a little bit looks a little bit nicer and there we go full transmission and oh we've got trim options okay so i'm guessing that's that little chrome bit on the side so we can go ahead and delete the chrome we can delete the oh we can have the primary panel so if we want it to match the whole body and then we have the primary with the chrome delete um, I actually do like it uh, with the sort of secondary option, so we're going to leave that in there. Trunk accessories next. We've got trunk latches. Uh, we've got a spare wheel, so you can really build this thing into a race car if you want to. We've got the small rack, small rack with luggage. We've got the large rack and a large rack with luggage. And then we've got the radio antenna, which design. does not look right on Take this car on. at all. Um, so I'm not going to go for any of those options. Um, we're just going for like a clean sort of street build. But you could really build this thing into a race car if you want. Uh, we'll go for full turbo tuning. Let's see what kind of speed this thing has when we take it outside. Wheel options next. Now, I do like these wheels. They're um, special to this vehicle. Uh, I don't believe there's any other vehicles in the game that have these wheels. But I'll have a little look through some of the options. I'll see if there's any wheels that I think fit better than these. Otherwise, we'll just leave the stock ones. Okay, I've decided to go ahead and change the wheels. As much as I like the stock wheels, they are very cool. I think these El Jefe ones look pretty good in chrome. Um, and we'll go ahead and... Uh, we'll put the bulletproof tyres on. Now, these are in the muscle category. So, uh, it's going to add the tyre lettering instead of the white wall tyres. But I wanted to get rid of the white wall tyres anyway. So, I'm just going to leave that how it is. Then, window options. The windows actually do remain on the sides there. They're barely noticeable, but we can go ahead and tint those if we want to. I'm just going to leave them standard. And there we go. That is a vehicle fully customised. We'll just go ahead and paint it now. I do already have a colour in mind for this thing. So we're going to go for a metallic blue colour. Like a surf blue. Something like that. Surf blue does look almost right. Um, the nautical blue is a little bit closer to what I was picturing. Maybe the marina blue. That's not quite the right colour. I think the nautical blue is the closest to what I had in mind. And then the secondary colour, which is down there, we're going to go for either a white or a cream. We'll see which looks better. 
Um, the frost white looks bright good. Ice white. I think the cream. Yeah, the cream just looks a little bit nicer. It's a little bit yellower. It just fits beautifully there. And that is something to note. If you look at the interior, the secondary option does change the color of the steering wheel and also that stitching on the door cards and around the side of the seats. So that is something to bear in mind. Um, we do actually have a trim color option. So we can go ahead and change the whole trim here to a different color. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like in nautical blue. If we match it to the outside, that actually looks pretty good. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. And there we go. That is my build of the Coquette D1. Let's take it outside, see what kind of performance it has and what it looks like in the daytime. Well, here we are. It's a lovely sunny day in Los Santos and I am in my freshly built Coquette D1. It looks absolutely fantastic, I have to admit. I'm loving these wheels. I know these wheels are actually off like a Challenger or like a 70s Mopar, but they look quite good on the Corvette, I have to admit. Um, I'm glad I got rid of the white walls. There's only very few cars, I think, that actually look good with white wall tires. This thing really didn't suit them, but I'm loving the blue with the white. Everybody who's been building this car on YouTube has been going for sort of red with the white, which is a sort of classic color. But um, I think the blue with the white just looks a little bit better. It's a little bit more unusual. And I like the exhausts. They look absolutely fantastic. They look better than the ones coming out of the fenders, in my opinion. And just that little drop has improved the look of this thing a lot and of course taking the top off um, it's the kind of vehicle that you don't want a roof on something like this it's for cruising around the city like we're doing now all right so here we are with all the doors open it has a fantastic interior i think the interior is taken out of the vapid peyote which has been in the game since day one um, at least the dash and the steering wheel. The seats are molded into the body, just like the real car, which is very, very cool. That's a nice little detail. Um, the boot is quite big. Not that you can actually put anything in the boot in GT Online. And like I said earlier, those door cards are the secondary color. So that's something to bear in mind. And the bonnet actually opens like sort of backwards, which is very unusual. Now the engine doesn't have a lot of detail. Um, I don't think Rockstar were intending for us to open the bonnet. So that's a little bit of a shame. It would have been nice if there was a bit of visual customization under the bonnet. Well, there we have it. That is the Coquette D1 in GT Online. Let's have a quick look whether those front lights work. Yeah, they do. So if you apply those extra little lights down the bottom, the little fog lights, they do actually work which is very, very nice. But let me know what you guys think of this car. Are you going to be buying it in GT Online? Are you a fan of it? Are you not a fan of it? Do you like the original C1 that it's based on? I'm more of a C3 slash C4 guy myself, um, but it is a welcome addition to GT Online. I think a lot of people will be enjoying this one. Let me know down in the comment section and don't forget to like if you did enjoy the video and subscribe for all the new customization videos coming out this week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.